Well, I'm Alan Dale from Gale Force Winds, and it's an absolute pleasure to be here at DefSec 2024. Great podcast they have every single year, bringing the conversation alive, brought to us by our good friends at uh, Cisco, true thought leaders in the room. Travis, it's great to have you back on the show. Tell us doing amazing things, everything from youth engagement, making sure the students are engaged, and Talus is uh, such a great company, and always good to have you in the conversation. Travis, tell us a little bit about it. Well, thanks for having me, first of all. Um, so I'm Travis Dowd. I'm the Director of Maritime uh, Strategy and Sales, um, and we're here uh, presenting uh, uh, for, I don't know how many years in a row, but yeah, we're, uh, we're a staple here. Yeah. Tell me about uh, Talus's vision on the maritime industry in Canada. How's it going? Yeah, so uh, over the last couple uh, weeks, we released um, internally uh, uh, the strategy for the next uh, next five to seven years. Uh, so there's a there's a lot of good things that are coming out. Um, one thing I want to talk today is a little bit about uh, modularity um, and how we can we can fill that capability uh, for the Navy uh, and the Coast Guard here in Canada. Now talk to me a little bit about that because that's such an important piece of the equation, right? Not every ship can have everything at all times, but plugging and playing it in is such a vital piece. Talk Absolutely. to me about that. Yeah, so we want to fill the we want to fill our waters with capability. Um, and, and right now, um, you know, while we're waiting for the river class, while we're, while we're maintaining all the ships on the Aegis and M-Wave contracts and making sure that they're um, uh, ready to sail for as many sea days as possible, uh, we're looking at um, how do we fill a capability while, while ships are being built and technology is increasing uh, and, and getting smarter and getting faster. Um, how do we bring capability and inject capability into into the Navy and to, into the Coast Guard as well? And one of the ways is through modularity. So instead of buying 12 of something because you have 12 ships, you can actually maybe only buy uh, four uh, or maybe five with a spare, have two on either coast uh, and uh, and interchange them with the, with the platform itself or with um, or with another platform, uh, for for instance, like a merchant ship. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you see uh, interoperability, the way you describe it, as all being shared between NATO partners as well. Yeah, absolutely. And I and I think where we where we have to first uh, first prove that success is is right here in Canadian yeah. soil, uh, right here at home. So when we when we look at uh, how modularity is really more of a feasible uh, feasible technology today. You've got um, you know standardized frameworks where it's more like a, a USB plug and play, just how USB revolutionized uh, the technology industry. Um, you've got uh, digital uh, transformation and the evolution of that digital transformation. So uh, now that we've been digitally transformed, what do we do with that data? Data is the new oil. Um, and uh, things like AI is more like an engine to run that oil. Yeah. Talk to me about your vision on AI, right? A big well, topic. Eh? Yeah, I, I think you know when when we we apply these uh, when we apply these things to to modularity, like the the rise of AI and the LLMs really didn't um, really didn't take place until recent. Uh, just that uh, we we didn't have enough data, and the intersection of data and computing power really. Uh, enabled those those large language models to to appear, and similarly, um, with digital transformation and, and standardized interfaces, um, it it really makes sense now. As you know, as you drive your car home, you know your phone automatically connects to your mm -hmm. to your home Wi-Fi. Um, you know that that type of thing should happen uh, on our ships as well. Travis, uh, tell us a big muscle in this room, there's no doubt about it, uh, tentacles everywhere. A lot of SMEs will be saying, how do I, how right. do I start to work with Talos? Well, what's a trick? Well, what would you tell uh, SMEs if they want to do some work with Talos? So um, I, I think the, you know, the prime example of this is, is vigilance. So we've, we've teamed with, uh, with VARD, uh, SH Defense, Ontario Shipyards, um, and Fincantieri. Uh, that ship is going to be, you know, the quintessential modular ship. So leveraging a lot with with SH Defense, and now SH Defense is, has has got a uh, a sovereign capability here with new engineering. Uh, so we're going to be able to, you know, take those technologies and work them through. So any SME 
it really a approach us to to join Team Vigilance to uh, to make right. that happen. Yeah. Great to be in conversation with you. I always enjoy having Dallas on. I love your uh, vision on things. And uh, and I said right at the uh, onset that your engagement at all levels nice. is very impressive. We've yeah. had students on who started their careers Absolutely. through work terms and yeah. just so amazing to see Dallas, such a large company, digging down so deep and making sure you get That's it right. right. Appreciate it. No worries. Thank you.